So Susan is saving for a trip. Again, here we're doing more arithmetic problem solving. She starts with a gift from her parents of a hundred dollars. Okay. Oops. Just trying to highlight that. So what does that mean? She starts with a gift of a hundred dollars. So that means her first amount that she has is a hundred dollars. So A is equal to one hundred. Each week after that, she deposits eighteen dollars. So each week she puts in eighteen dollars, that's going to be my D. My D here is equal to eighteen. How many weeks will it take her to save two hundred and ninety-eight dollars? To have two hundred and ninety-eight dollars saved? Okay. So this is a bit tricky to interpret, but how many weeks? Let's think about our diagram here. We know the first one is a hundred, and then after that she has 18 added on, so the second week could be she'd have a total of 118 in her piggy bank. And on we go. So we're basically looking for here is after how many weeks will we have $298. So that's the diagram that might help you visualize what we're looking for. So here I know A and I know D and I know N. Sorry, I know T sub N is equal to 298. But what I don't know is n. Let's look at our formula. T sub n is equal to a. So I know this, I know this, and I know this, and I don't know this. That means if I plug everything in that I know, 298 is equal to 100 plus something I don't know, minus 1 times 18. I should be able to use solver because there's only one thing in that equation that I don't know. So if we go in here, type in what we see, 298 is equal to 100 plus bracket x minus 1 bracket times 18. So again, n is the thing you don't know, so I'll use the x button there. And don't forget to hit solve. We've got 12. So here we're saying that n is equal to 12. So in the 12th week, she will have $298. So in this case, I didn't have to figure out what d was. It was given to me. But I did need to kind of figure out and try and problem solve what n would be here because I didn't know. So the tricky part here was how many weeks, figuring out that that meant the n. And so if you diagram it out, that 298 being the value, the amount she has in her piggy bank, it helps you figure out that that goes on the bottom, that's the t, and the n is the part that you're looking for.